Hello, my name is Scott Inger. Welcome to your second GIMP tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to make a quick weathered material. First of all, what I, I would like to do is I'm going to open a uh, Microsoft Paint. So we're going to go into our menu. We're going to just go into Accessories and you know, open paint. What we're gonna want to, you guys are gonna want to do before we actually even start is you guys are gonna want to create your own 600 by 600 uh, inch or pixel uh, picture. I, I I recommend just doing it. Uh, with the lines like the one I already have, which is right here. I'm not going to say that. This is the one I have already here. It's 600 by 600, and it's just alternating white, black, white, or black and white. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up GIMP. Wait for it to start up. And there we go. So, here's my picture that I have right here that I'm going to use. I recommend if you don't have your picture already, I might uh, put an upload for this picture somewhere. So, or you can just download a pattern from somewhere that you want to use. But I'm just gonna go ahead right now, and I'm gonna start doing this. So I'm gonna drag that into Blend or uh, GIMP, and we're gonna create the uh, weather texture or look to it. All we have to do is go into filters, go into render, oh wait, 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 wait. The first of all we we have to create a new layer. And we're just gonna make this uh, weathered. I'm just gonna keep it with the uh, these right here. I'm gonna make it trans it's going to be transparent when you click OK. And now we can see that we have a new layer over here. So now that we've got that layer selected, we're going to click on Filters, and we're going to go all the way down to Render. I'm going to click on, or go slide over to Clouds, and we're going to click Solid Noise. And then we're going to choose whatever we want for our settings. We can increase these more. I recommend keeping them the same to make them look OK. And then, if you don't like the one that you have default here, we can press that. I'm going to see if I can find one I like. You can press this new seed to find one that you may like. And that one looks actually pretty nice, so I'm going to use that one. But wait, what happened to our background? It's still there. The weather, our weather layer is too too prominent for it to be viewed. So what we have to do is we gotta change the opacity here. So let's change our opacity and lower it to let's say let's make it 32. And that looks like a nice nicely done weathering to it. And what we want to do now is we're going to cl click File, we're going to Save As, because we don't want to save as the same thing. And I'm just going to put, uh, leave it as Pattern 1, and then I'm going to put Edit in there, just to make sure we know it's an edited one. And I'm going to save that. And it might ask me about layers. It's going to actually. Merge visible layers, and we're going to export that with the layers merge. And we're just going to save as is. And now we have it on our desktop. And let's just see how that looks in our default picture viewer. And that looks pretty awesome as is. Well, I guess that would be all I'm be teaching you guys in this tutorial. I hope you guys come back for more. Please like my video or do just about anything you like. I'll see you guys next time. Have fun learning about all of this stuff.
Thank you for watching. Bye.